Yeah, notice his name doesn't start with Cypher. Keep that in mind for later. A Teddy Ursa? So it's a battle of cuteness. Okay. Wait a minute. What is that? Professor Klein on Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In any case, Professor Klein got. It looked like he got kidnapped or something. Oh, God damn! I knew it! It is Cypher! They are still up to their old fucking tricks. Will you uh, let go of me? Where, where do you think you're taking me, huh? Shut your face. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I'm taking you to your new lab. Professor. Nani? What new lab? Move it. We don't have any time. If you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself inside the car. Or I shall have to slap you upside the head. Very hard. Okay, that wasn't even very threatening. You people, what are you? I am darkness. I am the night. No, no, no. No, they aren't. In any case. Huh? What is it, punk? You gonna play hero and try and stop us? I don't show mercy to anyone, not even kids. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, this kid is about to beat your ass! So it's time for a boss fight! Versus Spy Naps. Yeah, notice his name doesn't start with Cypher? Keep that in mind for later. A Teddy Ursa? So it's a battle of cuteness. Okay! Wait a minute. What is that? The, Mike, the ore reader's responding. That's a shadow Pokemon. I knew it, so they, they are still using shadow Pokemon. Though, viewers, you gotta admit, this new Cypher battle theme, mwah, fucking beautiful, viewers. Hurry, Mike, hurry. Throw a Pokeball at it. Yeah, well, I... Oh, well. So you want me to catch it while it's at full health? Huh, all right. All right. Viewers, I'll shut up for a minute so you can hear the climacto of the music. Watch, hear it. try then. Now, it's been a while, but uh, here we go. Snack ball? Go! Come on. Yes! Woohoo! Teddy Ursa, get to those A. Hey dude, I just stole your Pokemon. <laughs> Who's the thief now? What was that? My shadow Pokemon was... Was it a snag? Well, you guys know all about the snags. But yeah, just like in the last game, every time you capture a shadow Pokemon, um, if you have no other Pokemon in your inventory, or rather, if you have, well, not six, it will join your party. So, there you go. Anything that you get beyond six in your party will go to your PC. So, there you go. Woohoo! Nice, our first capture. And the Teddy Ursa said that it's gonna be a powerful Ursa ring when we, you know, purify it eventually. Kid, what is that machine on your arm? W what the fuck do you think it is? It is what you think it is. Could it be a snack machine? What the heck is that thing doing here? That's bad. That's big news. Come on, move. We need to report this headquarters right now. Wow. And they still get away. Get back here! Damn! Wow, man. Well, what do you expect me to do with a level 11 Eevee and a Teddy Ursa I just caught? Not a lot to stop a fucking moving truck. Damn. <laughs> My soon-to-be daddy, I mean, <clears throat> they took the professor away. <laughs> 
Yeah, it is sad. Don't cry, Jovi. I'm sure Professor Crime will be all right. Crane. <laughs> We've contacted the police and the proper authorities about Professor Crane. They should l let us know if they discover anything. I still can't believe this is happening. Professor Crane predicted that someone will again try making Shadow Pokemon. His prediction was on the mark. Yeah, I mean, it, it seemed kind of obvious. Even though we defeated the masterminds of the Shadow Pokemon plot with Cypher in the last game, it didn't seem like it was completely resolved. Hmm. So they're still up to their old ways five years later, huh? Mike, the Tatiursa you snagged probably isn't the only Shadow Pokemon that was made. Oh, I seriously doubt that was the only one. When the Purified Chamber is completed, we'll be able to save many Shadow Pokemon at the same time. But... But what? Professor Crane is crucial to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do. Damn. Lily? Mom? Mystery Lady? No. Let's complete it. We'll finish the purified chamber ourselves. Are you serious? The director's not even here. It's hopeless. There isn't any possible way to get it done. Where there's a will, there's a way. You're on the verge of finishing. This isn't the time to feel sorry for yourself. The purified chamber project got this far not just because of Professor Crane. We got here because we all worked as a team. Having come this far, it would be wrong to stop now. Our pride as scientists is on the line. Damn it! Let's finish this project as one. Wow, that was that was beautiful. Things things will get very busy around here. I'll go upstairs and check how the data processing is progressing. Wow. I thought she was going to be an annoying bitch, but she's actually stepping up and taking charge. Huh? You up to my opinion of you, Lily? Good job. Good job. Jovio's professor is okay. Jovi hopes he isn't hurt. Why is Jovi think speaking in the in the third person now? Hmm. Will he wait until Jovi gets bigger and goes to rescue him? Uh, I seriously doubt the professor's gonna wait like 10 plus years or when you come of age to go and rescue him. Yeah, nah, nah. Mike, we gotta hurry. The, the purify the shadow Pokemon that you caught soon too. But the purified chamber won't be ready for a while. What would be a good idea? Well, the only other place I can think of to purify Teddy Ursa would be a, a gate village. If we can even go to it in this game. But yeah, with Shadow Pokemon, things are a bit different. Now, here's the thing. If you're new to the Coliseum and XD, you see the heart gauge down there? The heart gauge is all purple right now. Meaning the door to its heart is like tight shut. It is like super tight. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Not that tight, viewers. <laughs> the nice thing is, however, what well, well, fail. By battling with your Shadow Pokemon and using items on it and calling out its name in battle, you will reduce the heart gauge rate. So basically, you need to completely empty it out. Once you do, your Shadow Pokemon will be ready for purification to return them back to, well, their normal state. Now, if you don't do this, the Shadow Pokemon will stay as it is. However, during battle, they will get EXP, while not showing it in battle, they will get EXP accumulated. And when they get purified, they'll be able to gain all that EXP and levels that they had gained while they were Shadow Pokemon. And even evolve if they reach the right level, as well as learning moves. Now, we have some new moves here, uh, new Shadow moves in XD. We had Shadow Rush in the last game, which basically was, oh, well, sh Shadow Blitz. It's basically Shadow Rush, except with no recoil damage. So, yeah, it throws a tackle while casting a Shadowy Aura. Shadow Mist is new, however. It sharply cuts the foe's evasiveness. So, yeah, it's a good combo to pair up, but obviously, I wouldn't want that full time, needless to say. That being said, though, uh, let's see. I guess we... Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we gotta talk to um, our mom. In any case, let's go to this room. <sighs> hey there. This basic data should be fine now. Keep going with it. Yes, ma'am. Mike, you came at the right time. May I get you to run an errand for me at, at Getty on port? Oh, so I'm an errand boy now. Wow. 
Just like every Pokemon game. I, I, I'm reduced to... Oh, hey, go get this parcel. Hey, get this Pokemon egg. Oh, hey, look for my daughter. Do this shit yourself. Huh. But, it, yeah, in any case, we gotta go to Gaddion Port and visit a uh, parts shop. It's due south from here. It's not that far, but be careful. Right. Nick, uh... Jovi knows the part shop. It's next door to Emil's house. Mommy, can Jovi go? Jovi wants to help everyone. But Jovi will just get in the way. I appreciate your offer. I know you want to help, but it's an important component. Okay. Jovi, you remember the lab stab too, even though you're like, what, five? You may go if you you may go if you take Mike with you. So she has to take me with her? <laughs> Dear, would you mind going with Jovi? Uh, okay, Mommy. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. You have to listen to Jovi, Big Brother. Uh, why? Why? This bitch is more annoying than the last bitch we had tagging along with us in the first game. Yay! We have another annoying companion. Uh, on to Gaddy on Port we go. Or... Gaty on board. Mike, jo Jovi, both of you, be very careful, please. I'm counting on you two. We will, we will. Unfortunately, we had to take Jovi with us. Ugh, but whatever. I mean, she doesn't contribute in battle or anything, so she's... She, well, she's... Well, she's more worthless than the last chick we had tagging along with us. Because unlike what the last chick can actually... We needed her to see the Shadow Pokemon, because we didn't have the special goggles that, um, you know, Michael has. But, uh, hey, Mike, Jovi, where are you two off to? Um, and running errand. Why? Jovi is on an important trip to Gaddion Port. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. I am not her assistant. Mike is your assistant? Uh, you must be confident with such a good assistant, Jovi. Oh my god. Yeah, just play along. Play cool. Anyways, Mike, could we have... Could we actually hold on to that snag machine and use it? There may be other Shadow Pokemon out there. If you spot one, rescue it from the criminals. I'll make approaches to the authorities and other people to have Pokeballs available for sale at shops. There is more. I wanted to give these to you, too. And we get to... Crane memo? And another Crane memo. There are documents on Shadow Pokemon Professor Crane and I compiled. Please read them. Uh, Alright. Let's see what they are. Let's see. Is it strategy memo? No, not that one. Where is it this one? Huh. Where where is it? Hmm. Weird. He said please read it, and yet I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. Well, oh, you know what? It must be an items then. Okay, never mind. Fail. Yeah, here it is. Let's see. Yeah, yep. That's that much we already knew. Right. All right, let's check this one. So yeah, that's what those goggles are that Michael has, the aura reader. It reminds me of a certain pair of specs and um, uh, that the main character in Mega Man Star Force um, uses. So yeah, it's very similar but different. It allows you to see things that other people cannot see. So yeah, it's very similar to that. Obviously, this game came out before that one, but you know what I mean. To get your portal! Ah. The sea, the rolling waves, the roaring sea. Sadly, there's no Gilgamesh. Oh, well. Wow, big brother, look, look, it's the sea, the sea. It's so big. Your sea is so big. N no, but, it, oh, it really is big. Listen, listen, the part shop is over there. Hurry, big brother. Oh, Jovi, wait for me. This way, this way. Uh, you need to stop running. Whoa! Ouchie, Jovi fell down. 
You okay, Jovi? Oh, God, those eyes. Hey, now, where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry, Jovi is sorry. It wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done. Oh, shit. Dude, this is a little girl. You messed up. You messed up the happening look of Zork. The coolest, baddest, and most happening guy around. Bruh, are you serious? Uh, sorry doesn't even begin to cut it. You are fucking literally threatening a little girl. Are you fucking serious? Oh, hell no, if you think I'm gonna let you hurt my little sis, even though she is basically annoying. Huh? You there. Hey, yeah, punk. You're with this munchkin, aren't you? Yeah, she's with me. You got a problem? And it looks to me like you're a trainer. <laughs> you look like you'll be a million times more fun than some munchkin. Oh, trust me. I'm a lot more than you can handle. You're the perfect victim for my new Teddy Ursa. <laughs> I'll stop you flat with my shadow Pokemon. You have a... Huh. Well, isn't this even more interesting? Because I get to steal another one. Perfect. Come on! A sand goose! Wow, that's a rarity. That's quite enough of that. Huh? Who the hell are these guys? Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a matter. Choose your place in time. Shut it. Hey, meddling senior citizen, take your preaching to someone who cares. Or do you want me to pound you too? <laughs> no, no, not that pounding. You're gonna take a pounding. No. Mr. Verich, perhaps I should... Hmm, who are these guys? I feel like we've seen them before somewhere. Huh, and who do you think, who the hell do you think you are? So now you're going to play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. <laughs> As you wish, bitch. <laughs> oh, an exhibition match. Exhibition match. Alakazamu. Level 44? Psycho Kiddies! Damn! I mean, obviously level difference, but holy shit! He took out his shadow Zangos with one psychic! Your power, where does it come from? Well, damn! Those guys aren't ordinary. You done it now. Don't think you're getting away with meddling with the, messing with the great Zork. Remember this. Should I give chase? No, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yeah, he picked on a. He tried to make a pick a fight with a little girl who said she was sorry for bumping into him. Obviously, it was an accident. What is wrong with guys like him? Seriously, you see these guys, like, a lot and stuff like that. To pick on a child like that is just, it's obscene. And it's way over the top and is it's, it's terrible. It's, it's, you're not even a man at that point if you're, if you're picking on a child, okay? Yes, sir. Let us be on our way now. Wait, I didn't even get the thank you. Uh, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> it hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. Hmm. That close-up, though. We did only what had to be done. Nothing more. Hmm. Pretty interesting fellows. Espe especially that short guy. I wonder, though... That, that guy's Alakazam was OP as fuck. Hmm. I guess we should keep them in mind for later. I don't, I, I, I seriously doubt we won't be seeing them again. We, yeah, I think we will be seeing them. I don't know, something about them. Just, that old man is Mr. For Rich. He's supposed to be really wealthy. Wait, he's rich? Damn. The people with him were really strong too. Wow, they were really cool. Unfucking believable. Huh, so we got saved by a rich um midget. 
short guy with um two OP as fuck bodyguards. We don't know how strong the guy in the red um suit was though. I feel so privileged. I got to see Mr. Verich again today. That cute face, his adorable build. Uh, I feel faint. He bedazzles me so. Ma'am, he's shorter than you! Wow. But yeah. But he's so adorable for an old man. <laughs> no. That luxury cruiser moored behind the part shop belongs to Mr. Verich. How rich is this bitch? <laughs> Jovi? Huh? Is that... Is that you, Jovi? Oh, Emela and Ar... Uh, Ar... RC Cola! AC Cola! Uh, I don't know why that name just popped up in my head. A... 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 Cry. Yeah, I think that's her name. So it was you, Jovi, being harassed by that big strange man. Were you okay? Yeah, strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you must be Jovi's brother, Mike. I'm glad to finally meet you. Same. I'm I'm Im I'm Emily. Hi, Jovi's big brother. Jovi has been a very nice friend to my daughter, Millie. That elderly gentleman's name is Mr. Verich. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be fabulously wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I'm hoping to become a novelist whenever I come across anything mysterious. I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are lots of rough customers about. Yeah, it's just like Olivine City. You know, you got the rowdy sailors and shit. I, I like the aura of this place, though. Emily, we should be going. Okay, Mommy. Okay, bye-bye, Jovi. Yeah, see you, Emily. Huh, they seem nice. But in any case, um, there are houses around here somewhere. Before we do our, let's go, um, do what we came here to do first. In any case, is this the, this is the part shop, right? Hey, dude. The shopkeeper wasn't thinking straight when he got that clueless newbie to look after the shop. Now me, a regular customer, would be able to serve customers a lot better. Huh, is that so? Somebody here is supposed to give you something, I believe. Hey, dude. Hi, did you want something here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He says he says something about having to go out to Dr. Coleman or, or whatever it was now. Well, to that doctor's manor is where he went. Oh, yeah, the guy that we saw at Dr. Chemical's lab. Not the guy with the glasses, but the guy with the hat. He said his grandson, Pierre, would be back at repairing the ro rotating bridges. So I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. But I don't know where anything is or how to ring up the sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter, though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. If you'd like, how about you help me while he's away? I got a tale to tell that you may find interesting. Uh, sure, okay, I got time. When I was younger, I sailed all the world seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, really huge. Like my, um, <clears throat> and that huge world is filled with an incredible profusion of Pokemon. Of all the Pokemon in our world, the one thing I found the most interesting is Eevee. Eevee? Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. It can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon, you see. As of Gen 3, that is. <clears throat> While I sailed, I studied Eevee quite exclusively. As a result, I obtained five items that are the keys to Eevee's evolution. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, you say you are raising an Eevee. Yeah, I am. What, a, what fortuitous coincidence. This must have been meant to happen. Well, let me commemorate this occasion by giving you one of the five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead and choose one. Wow! So I get to pick? <laughs> nice! Oddly enough, they have a Moon Shard and a Sun Shard to help you level up um, or evolve your Eevee into Umbreon and Espeon. The thing is, 
See, when my cat has the Moon Shard and the Eevee is significantly friendly, it will evolve upon leveling up. So basically, you still need to level up your Eevee via friendship um, and stuff like that in order to evolve it into Umbreon and Espeon. So, but you'll, but you'll need the shards in order to do that. So, I don't think there's like a day and night cycle kind of thing. So, just keep that in mind. Otherwise than that, though, we also have those. But we can also evolve, um, Eevee into one of the Kanto starters as well. So, we got Vaporeon. Or rather, the Kanto starters, I wish. Um, you know, the Kanto evolutions. Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. Now, in all... Likelihood, I recommend going with Fl um, with Jolteon. Jolteon is way better than all the three Kanto evolutions for Eevee. Great speed. While its ability is not the best, it has great speed and learns some pretty good moves via level up. And come on, viewers. It's Jolteon. Jolteon is kick-ass. Its Japanese name is literally Thunders because it's so fucking quick. Now, I use Jolteon in my test run, so as such, I'm going with Jolteon. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Flareon is okay, but it doesn't learn a lot of great moves. It is kind of, you know, meh. Um, Vaporeon is good because it has really good special, um, you know, special attack, but really, it's just not that big a deal, honestly. And Umbreon and Esperon, it would just take way too long to get them via friendship. Jolteon is the better of the five, in my opinion. So I recommend Jolteon wholeheartedly with this. Fine, you can have the Thunderstone, just like your Eevee, it's invaluable. Yay, Thunderstone get. You're so lucky, big brother. Jovi wants something too. Well, to well, too bad you're not getting any. <laughs> no. In any case, uh, we got the Thunderstone, so let's go and put that to use, shall we? Now, I know it's like we just started the game, but we can already evolve our Eevees. Pretty cool. I'm getting me a Jolteon. While it evolves, I'm going to get some hashtag confetti. Go ahead, Eevee. Short, sweet, and beautiful animation. Woohoo! Jolteon, get the Jose! Nice. Congrats, Eevee. Alright, I got a Jolteon, bitches! Nice. See, Jolteon. Woo, look at that speed. 35 speed at level 11. Not bad at all. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Beautiful. Jolteon would be, obviously, my ace. That's why I recommend going with Jolteon. Jolteon is the best. In my humble opinion, that is. In any case, the shopkeeper's not around today. The old guy must be at Dr. Chemical's place again. It's a mystery to me why he'd be friends with that odd doc who was involved in downright eccentric research. Hmm, is that so? Maybe we can find that, um, his grandson or something. They said he was somewhere around here. He's certainly not up here, that's for sure. Somebody, I think that dude said he was something about rotating bridges. Hmm, let's go check that out then. Uh, can't, I can't wait to use Eevee in battle. Eevee is so awesome. I mean, or, or not Eevee, Jolteon. That is. is that him? Whoa! That is super fucking cool. Hey, dude, I'm digging those, uh, uh, saggy pant things. What the fuck is that supposed to be, though? I'm, I'm digging those pants, though. Ooh, settles that, all fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the part shop is ours. Huh? You need a machine part. Where's Grandpa? He's gone out to Dr. Kimiko's. Uh, when my grandpa gets excited over something mechanical, he goes off he goes off like a shoot. Never mind the shop or his grandson me. I'll find that machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? Uh, sure. Hmm. Man, grandpa sh sure must be lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Hey, um, Pierre. 
wash the shop for me, would you? I need to go get drunk and go to the strip club. N no, no. Yeah. You can manage it. You're old enough now. <laughs> Sorry, we were all out. A machine part, you said, right? Yep. What is this machine part supposed? Oh, yeah, it's for the, um, the purify chamber. I was about to say, what is it supposed to be for? I almost forgot. Here it is. Here it is. This is it. There you go. All right, we get the machine part. Cool. It's a rare item, that machine part. It took a while to get that order in. How is your director, Professor Crane, doing? Um, kidnapped, uh, shadow, uh, uh, Teddy Ursa. Huh? The, the HQ last director was abducted by some goons with shadow Pokemon. I've been, I've been through something like that before. But who would have thought it happened again? I hope the lab's director I hope the lab director's found. I'll be rooting for you, so don't give up. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. In any case, um Do they sell any Pokeballs here? Let's see. No, they don't sell any Pokeballs here, unfortunately. Damn. That really sucks, too, because there is a couple Shadow Pokemon in this town. Yeah, there, like, there's a couple trainers in town that have a couple Shadow Pokemon, so I would like to go and, um, see if I can find at least one of those trainers. Now, in order to move these bridges, I think there's some connecting switches you have to hit. Or, I think you just have to stand on them, I think. Before that, however, it's... Ah, this is the guy. Hey, dude. Welcome, youngster. No words need to be spoken, no questions need asked. We shall battle, yes? Uh, sure, if you want. Cool. Good answer. A battle with a feisty lad is one to be savored. Let's go! Battle time! Eh, eh. <laughs> Filthy casual. No! <laughs> no, no. Yeah. But yeah, just like in Pokemon Coliseum, all of our battles from here on out will be double battles. The only exception, obviously, was the battle we had with, um, that one guy at the lab and, you know, with the other guy. Huh? I knew it. A Shadow Ladybug. Yeah, Ladybug is not my favorite Johto Pokemon. I'll be quite honest with you, viewers. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and weaken it. I'll capture it, but I'm not going to, like, go extremely out of my way. So, BITE THAT BITCH! Yeah. Now, don't go full ham on the Shadow Pokemon, because if you manage to KO it, um, there's a chance you may not be able to capture it again. So, well, in some battles, I think, like, if you leave the area and come back, you might be able to rebattle that dude to get it. I'm not sure. It's been a while since my test run. But if anything, try to, you know, get it on your first attempt. That would, you know, be recommended in my opinion. Alright, let's go with Shadow Miss. I don't want to go too hard on it. Don't kill it, Jonesy! There you go. Good girl. Alright. Uh, here comes the own Shadow Piece. Whoa! And yeah, for some reason, all shadow moves are super effective. Yeah! Just gonna put my mist inside your face. There you go. Smell that must, bitch! Alright, now then. I don't really care for Ladybug, but I'm gonna catch it anyway. I'll try my best to capture all the shadow Pokemon, but I'm not gonna make any promises. So, yeah. I'll do my best, though. And it's cold. Now, here we go. Snack ball. Go! One. Yes! Woohoo! Ladybug, get to those A. Noise. Bebe. Huh. What was that guy doing with a shadow Pokemon anyway? Would you lose? No, sir. Alright, we got Ladybug that I'll never use. Huh, too bad, I guess I lost that one. That machine you have on your arm is quite the get-up. The way the lights pulse and all, it's mighty impressive, whatever it is. 
I thought for a second there you took in my Pokemon. You... Wait a minute. You know, lad, ever since I battled with you, I've been missing a Pokemon. It's an important precious even Pokemon I gotten as a gift. Do you have any idea what became of it? This dude doesn't even realize I just took his Pokemon. That's a shame. Like, how do you not see the ball being hurled at your Pokemon? That's just dumb. I, uh, uh, that's just really dumb in my opinion. Like, you don't see the ball being hurled at your Pokemon? Hmm, in any case, yay, Pokeballs. I definitely needed them. Well, viewers, we're not done exploring getting on ports. We got the part we needed so we can head on back to the lab. But before we do, there is another trainer that has another Shadow Pokemon that you can get. Plus, there's the matter of all the other shops to visit. What awaits us here during our visit? Find out next time. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so they're notified of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.